so guys let's start with the another view component or you say widget which is a seek bar in the previous video we have seen progress bar and now we will see seek bar so let me drag and drop the seek bar into the view as you can see we have seek bar here seek bar 6 and uh, here in view also we can see it but right now let's do one thing let's change the width to match parent and uh, let's give some margin 10 dp okay so guys the difference between seek bar and progress bar or uh, the progress the difference is that in progress bar you can only see the progress okay only the visual representation of that view it will be shown but no user inter interaction will be available but in seek bar you see this black dot this is a user interactive black dot you can change the value of this seek bar for example in your mobile phone if you set a brightness from uh, drop down tray you can see that the bar is actually a seek bar custom design seek bar for volume also it is a seek bar okay it is a different type of seek bar but it's a seek bar okay so this is a seek bar i have uh, placed here in my layout now let's let's go to the activity because i want to check how much value the seek bar has uh, given me so user interaction we need to uh, check into the activity code itself so for that we need to create the instance then instance is created and seek bar dot now we have to register a callback so I, if i set set on seek bar change listener this is the callback for that seek bar value so after uh, overloading or overriding uh, uh, these methods and uh, this is the interface so i have overridden this method so there are three methods on progress change on start tracking touch on stop tracking touch so you see that black dot black dot here this one let me open wait this black dot this is interactivable so whenever you press that black dot and you try to move it along the horizontal line whenever that progress is changed on progress change method will be called and you will get that value here in int i in i you will get that value on start tracking touch whenever you hold that button whenever you click it or whenever you press it it will give you on start tracking touch and whenever you release your finger it will give you stop tracking touch so let's add one toast here and uh, i will print value plus i okay i'm printing that i value here now let's try to run this application and see how it looks for uh, a seek bar so our application is running now and uh, if i move this seek bar you can see that value 1 value 2 value 4 and value 5 value 6 it is coming right if i now i have released my finger and uh, it is printing all the values now it will print 100 also because slowly slowly that uh, uh, toast will be shown right so let's let it stop showing the uh, uh, toast okay now if i click on some random place see it is showing value 31 if i click on another some random place it is showing value 81 okay so this is how your seek bar will work now there is one more type into the seek bar uh, as we have seen in progress bar there was a there was an attribute called style okay like that there is another attribute called seek bar discrete it has a style attribute okay by giving style attribute it will be a different type of seek bar okay it will be a different type of seek bar so let's let's let me change this to li li uh, linear layout and orientation to vertical okay so all my views will be horizontally and vertically align only 
and I will change the width and I will also give margin to this sig bar which is sig bar 7 now as you can see some some uh, small dots are given here right so this is the step it is a step which is max see here max is written uh, if I change it to 5 now this entire sig bar will be divided into equal points okay see this I have set as max as 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now if I make it 2 see uh, it is divided by 1 okay so max will be 5 right I can set max as 4 also and progress as 0 so let's do one thing let's change this sigbar uh, name to sigbar 7 discrete sigbar is also uh, used by this sigbar only you don't have to create another extra object for that or a different object for that this is sigbar only okay let's try to run this application and check how it works so my application is running and you can see two sig bars here one second and uh, you can see the discrete sig bar so whenever i'm moving it it will be it will move to that dot only it will not come anywhere into the mid it will move to that dot only okay so it is divided so as you can see value is 4 and now value is 4 3 and 4 so 4 is the max value and 0 is the smallest value but the above sig bar you see it can move anywhere you want right but this sig bar it is a discrete it will move only to the particular position so only the style uh, uh, is the uh, attribute which is making uh, it different and if see if I um, uh, try to check how many other sig bars are given if I press control space it is only giving me discrete that means only one type of sig bar for the style is created by Android okay so let's check other uh, uh, components in some other videos